Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dean, and I'm going to be doing your May 1st to the 15th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow, and it helps me out tremendously, so thank you so much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Financial gift with strings attached. Okay. Be aware of this. Like something that was or seemed like a financial gift, but it had way more strings or has way more strings attached to it than you realize. So just just be aware, to, aware of this. Okay. Let's see what spirit has to say here. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have two. We have magical and we have energy magical energy. I love that. I love the idea of this magical energy being a part of you during this time. The sense that you have a certain power to you, a certain grace, a certain beauty, a certain intensity to you. Embrace it. Embrace it because others will will definitely see it. Even if you don't see it in yourself, it's like, wow, you know, Cancer, you really have this spark to you during this time. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Ooh. Angels and spirit guides. Okay, very interesting. All our cards are reversed. I know that gets some people annoyed. You know, I'm sorry for that if it does, but it's not always a bad thing. And spirit gives the messages that we have to hear or that we need to hear at this time. And they don't all have to resonate with us. So here, the five of pentacles reverse is very good. We're moving out of this place of a feeling like we don't fit in or this place of not having that financial security that we wanted. So there's moving to financial security, abundance, a place where it feels like, yeah, I've got this and I, I've, I've really got this with the ace of wands reversed. Okay. There is, there's something that we're passionate about. There's a gift that's going to come or a way forward that we're going to think, oh, this is a fantastic opportunity, right? Too many strings attached. There's something here. It has to do around work or something about money and, and what we're passionate about. Okay. Coming in, it could be, it, it might not necessarily be work, but it could be some sort of learning, some sort of new opportunities there are going to be more strings attached to it than we realized. And that's just going to be something where it's like, oh, that wasn't the lesson I thought I'd be learning right here, right now, or that's not what I thought this was about. So just be very aware of that, that there's something going to come forward. And it feels like, oh my gosh, this is such an opportunity. And we're either healing from it or we're, we're in it right now and we're moving forward from it. Know with the chariot reverse, the chariot is us. We're going to have a tendency during this time to get in our own way. Being aware of that, 
being aware that we can be a little bit too emotional about things or a little bit too, <laughs> it's weird to say kumbaya about things, a little bit too, like, I want to see all sides of the story. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right, that I'm really taking everybody else into consideration. You want to be just and fair, which is interesting because not everybody else is very concerned about being as just and fair to you. So just be aware of that during this time. Be aware that you can't always make everybody else happy. You really have to say, what's right for me? What do I need? How do I move forward? Where do I need to be? You know, what is it that I desire? And it brings us to justice. During this time, understand some things aren't fair. They are not going to be fair. And sometimes life isn't fair as much as we want it to be. Justice reverse is like, it's not fair. And understanding that it's not fair and being like, I, I see it, I get it. And I, I can be as angry as can be about it. And it's not fair. And just even having somebody say, you know what, it wasn't fair. It wasn't right. Even, you know, spirit here in the cards, that can be very liberating. Whatever is holding us back or making us feel like, there's almost a sense of like walking on eggshells. This could very well be from our past. And, you know, somebody who controlled the money that had us walking on eggshells because of that. And just a sense now that we, we still carry those wounds and understanding, you know what? It wasn't fair. It wasn't right. I didn't need all those strings attached to everything. And it's like, it was attached to everything. My world here with the world reverse, it's like, yeah, the world opens up to you, but it isn't going out and just setting into the world. It's like my world opens to me, but it's my world. It's my small little part of the universe. It's this connection within me. I'm embracing it. I'm seeing it. I'm understanding me. And so when we look at the world and we're looking at what everybody else thinks and what everybody else feels and, and trying to be so diplomatic or compassionate, it's not saying don't be compassionate. It's saying don't, you know, I guess the better way to put it. So I heard the saying, you need a gallon in you to fill up a cup in other people. And that's true. Don't forget about your gallon. Don't forget. You know, it's not that you need a cup to fill up a cup because then you don't have anything, right? You need to have your pitcher full to fill up everybody else. And when you're looking at your own world, look at your world. See your life. And if you look at it and immediately think, oh, well, that needs to be changed or, oh, that's terrible. Okay. But look at it for you and not for anybody else. And when you start to see, oh, I really like this. and Oh, that brings me so much joy. All right. Lean in to what brings you happiness and start to change and start to release what does not. Five of cups, five of cups, five of pentacles reversed. Feeling out in the cold, we're leaving that behind. Feeling like we can't, we're leaving that behind. There's a sense of a freedom here. And it's empowering, it's scary, it's overwhelming, and it's ours. It brings us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is the Six of Wands. We are moving forward, but we're very uncertain about how we're moving forward, how we're getting there, what we're doing. There's, there's a question around us. There's a question around a lot of people during this time. But I just see it's like we're going to step on the ice and we're testing it. We're being cautious because that's smart. You don't want to step out on the ice and have it break underneath you and then be in big trouble. But you also don't want to be so cautious. You miss opportunities coming forward for you. And that's a bit of the predicament that we're in. The sense of there's an opportunity that comes. It, it sounds really, really good. It's going to have strings attached to it. And knowing that makes us stop. It's like, well, wait, how do I know what's good for me? How do I know what's not good for me? I can tell you here that there's this, there's a sense of the person's almost like too nice, too sweet. Now that might just be some people's personality. Okay. 
but they don't have this realness to them. There's, there's, there's a patina, you know, not patina, there's a facade, there's like a, a coating. It's like a guild, right? And you, and you scratch it off or yeah, and it, it flakes away. It's not real. There's something here where you're going to start to see it flake. You're going to start to see it chip. And it's like, oh, darn. And then you have to be just and fair with yourself. Because that person, that person isn't just and that person isn't fair. They have a, an agenda out for them. Be aware of that. Keep your world small. I don't mean that in a way of like, keep your world small. Don't go after things. What Spirit is saying here is like, keep your world focused on you. Because it's your world. You're not living anybody else's life for them. It's yours. Your subconscious message from spirit is wisdom. This is a time subconsciously where you start to see yourself being very wise, like having tremendous wisdom. And that's because you've been through stuff. Like that's because the roads have been hard. You don't obtain wisdom because everything's easy. Your subconscious message is the two of wands. And that's reversed. Everything is reversed. Okay, it's not bad. It's just like here, a door is closing. Here, it's like something's coming to an end. And there's an acknowledgement. It's like giving gratitude to the ending. And not... And honoring where you stand right now. It's like, don't take this time and think, oh, I have to jump into something new, something new, something new. It's like, honor where you stand right now and then think about it before you move to the next thing. That's going to be so important because like, it's like, there's a sense of, if I jump into something new immediately, it's not what I expect. And we might have to jump into that something new, right? We might have to take that job or go to these places and, and do these things. But just be aware and focused on you, not on everybody else, on you. Keep your energy sacred. I have linked in the description box below, Spring Forest Qigong. Keep that energy there sacred within you. Do Spring Forest Qigong every day if you can, you know, or little bits of it. But keep your energy sacred to you and don't give it away to anybody else. All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all and God bless. Bye.